in the 1800s when nationalism became an idea. They said, well, there, you know, what defines you as a nation? And they said, well, we're defined by our language, we're defined, we, we have our folk traditions, we have, you know, our folk poetry, but also our music can uh, define us as a nation. And you have Bela Bartok and you have, you know, uh, Kodai in Hungary, people like Inescu in Romania creating national musics. Jews didn't do that. Jews were, were not considered to be a people who had a folk tradition. They were disparate communities linked by our language and our religion, but we did not have a claim to the land. You know, the nation was Zionist, and therefore we were going to create a new folklore, which became Israeli folk dance and stuff. But we weren't going to dredge up the old stuff from the old country, which is the shackles of the Golis of diaspora. Why would you like to feel a, a, any sense of, of the, what we had in Europe, that horrible place that had the Holocaust? We don't want that culture, we don't want that language. All of that is old. We're making a new culture. It's in Israel, it speaks Hebrew, it makes rocket ships. Klezmer is just a, a necessary evil. But it's the only link, I, you know, this is a link we have to the Jewish folk fiddle tradition.